All right, was reading some articles on Jihad Watch, and you know I have my criticisms, but they do report on some stuff that the, the uh, woke SJW media won't even dare touch with a ten foot pole. Uh, but I'm gonna just harp on something that I have mentioned before in other videos. Uh, in this, I guess you could call it a series of videos called Islamic, you know, basically Ishmaelite Quranic delirium, because that's exactly what Islam is. It's full on delirium, uh, delirium from the devil. I'll put it that way. But uh, I was reading some articles on, on Jihad Watch, and it's it just kind of shocking, really, just this whole Islamophobia narrative. Because over in places like Nigeria, or pretty much anywhere where Muslims are the, are the uh, dominant force, like in North Africa, the Middle East, uh, you know, Pakistan, Afghanistan, wherever else, uh, pretty much Christians are victimized on a daily basis. Christians are, you know, born-again saints, even those who just profess to believe the Bible is the final authority, are basically victimized on a daily basis, you know, persecuted, attacked, uh, and not one peep from the media. Like essentially just a few days ago, like like just on a, on just a few days ago, you know, within the past couple months and everything else, uh, saints over in Nigeria are being killed in the hundreds, you know. But the media won't dare mention it. But then what happens is that you have the the uh, mosque shooting because I remember this happened back in 2019 when that mosque shooting where this this uh, neo-Nazi nutcase essentially went into this mosque and, and shot down 20, uh, 50 Muslims. And just a little disclaimer by the way too, uh, violence against Muslims is never okay. Okay, I'm not. I've never once ever never once have I ever condoned violence against anybody because of their religion. Uh, Islam is a false religion, but violent vigilante violence against Muslims is never okay. Okay, and, and shooting up a mosque is never okay either because it's murder. Murder is a sin. And as far as I'm concerned, the guy shouldn't be getting a life in prison. He should be getting the death penalty for murder. But that's a side issue. So I've never ever supported violence. And if there's ever a shooting at a mosque, I, I'd be the first to come out and say, hey, that's wrong. You should never do that. But uh, when that happened, this, this neo-Nazi nutcase went into the mosque and shot the place up. Uh, I, it happened in March, March 15th of 2019, uh, in like mid-May, I was still hearing about it from the media. But you know what's, you know what's very interesting? Within that, like, you know, was it two, three month period? There was a, a church attack in Nigeria in which over a hundred Christians were murdered by Muslims, not one peep from the media. And that happened within that, that kind of two, three month span. But yet, uh, all the while, I'm still hearing about that shooting in Christchurch in May, even though it happened in like three months earlier. So what, it's the whole Islamophobia narrative, because whenever there's, there's like an assault against a Muslim, which again is wrong, it's never okay, uh, it just, you hear about it nonstop from the media. But then on a daily basis, you have uh, born again saints being basically treated much worse in Muslim countries and not a peep from the media, because why? It kind of doesn't really fit, fit well with their narrative, you know? Uh, it, they they kind of want to paint Islam because essentially there there are some idiots out there who still think that Islam is some kind of peaceful you know religion, uh, just like how there are some idiots who think that Hinduism is a peaceful religion. Uh, no, Islam is violent, barbaric, and bloodthirsty. The Ishmaelite Quranic delirium started by Muhammad under the influence of Jesuit, uh, sorry, a, a Roman Catholic monks. Yeah, it's bloodthirsty, demonic, and violent, following in the footsteps of Mystery Babylon, the Roman Catholic Church. Okay. Islam falls under the category of Proverbs 8, verse 36, and John 8, 44, of being death worship. And, and, and one of their uh, jihad, jihadist hymns literally says, We love death more than you love life. So uh, Proverbs 8, verse 36 right there describes them. But uh, Islam is not the religion of peace. Any idiot who picks up the Quran, uh, or sorry, any idiot who still says that has never picked up a Quran. I'll put it that way. So the Ishmaelite Quranic delirium uh, can basically butcher Christians and, and saints on a daily basis. And nothing from the media, but you could have a, a Christian or, or born again saint pastor who says some some kind of what's deemed as offensive but against Islam, preaches a sermon against Islam, and you hear about it in the media. So saying something about you could draw a cartoon of their blasphemous false prophet, the media goes insane. Uh, Muslims can basically burn down a church with the people still inside it, and well, what that didn't happen. It was kind of just misunderstanding Islam. See, when, when a born-again saint would uh, attack Islam, oh, he's a religious extremist. When a Muslim would attack a born-again saint, it's, oh, he doesn't understand Islam. He's not really an extremist, he's just, you know, got some issues. It's this whole Islamophobia narrative that is causing the media to be willfully ignorant about the truth of this demonic, uh, Quranic, Ishmaelite delirium started by Muhammad, the pedo, under the influence of Satan and the Roman Catholic Church. So, wanted to point that out, that's kind of my little monologue for the day. So anyway, don't be deceived by this whole Islamophobia narrative. It, there are there are definitely instances where Muslims have been, you know, victimized in vigilante attacks, and that is wrong. Okay, it's never okay to do any kind of vigilante violence. But 
it happens much less than the media makes it seem like. The media makes it seem like it's some kind of epidemic out of proportions. That may be true over in places like India, but in the Western world, there still seems to be a very high degree of ignorance about the truth of Islam. So, I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by the whole Islamophobia narrative. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.